This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. The Carifta Water Polo Championships getting underway this morning at the Betty Kelly Kenning National Aquatic Center. Charles Fisher was poolside as the Bahamas opened up competition. Let me just say that our under-16 boy is not laying out the welcome mat at all, making a big splash against Bonaire. And with the hometown fans behind them, the Bahamas led six zip after one, then took an 11-2 lead into the half. The goals continued to pour in the third as Team Bahamas led 15-3, and at the end, it was Bahamas 18, Bonaire 5. Superb job by goalie Aiden Johnson. Just sleeping a bit because I came back from the cold and overall it's a good game. Six zip after first quarter, 11-2. How were you able to hold them down? Hold them down. Uh, good defense, good press, good attack. Adrian Burroughs, Thomas Elling and Gabriel Ensenau all finding the back of the net. Felt pretty amazing because we trained so hard to do this and we achieved what we wanted to do. We, we want to win. Big win though. Does this, you didn't get to practice much or work much on your game plan because it was so easy. No, I mean, we practiced really hard for this, but um, I think they just wasn't ready for us. I didn't play as planned. I mean, I don't play so well in morning games. I like more evening games. But yeah, we did really well. We were obviously more experienced and a better team, so we played well. It was easy, but it was good for our first game to warm up, and we have other challenges ahead. We have a very young team, and they're very enthusiastic, but they don't have a lot of experience yet in games because uh, we don't get a lot of tournaments to play. So that's definitely something they can learn from, so it's a good learning experience from them. For ZNS Total Sports, I'm Charles Fisher. Our under-19s in the pool today as well. They weren't as fortunate going down 16-14 to Jamaica. We played very well on the six on fives when we, uh, you know, in the men of situation. It just wasn't our morning. Um, I still think we have a shot for the gold medal. If we keep playing like this, we're going to have one more uh, situation in the final when we can go for it. Uh, I really hope the best. They have been preparing diligently over the past couple of months. They are coming out of our high school tournament now. Um, for many of them, this is their first exposure to a national level tournament. And there are some who are repeating. So, I mean, all in all, we're happy. This is the first tournament for the year. We have many more for the year after this one. One of the other teams in town for competition is Team Barbados. This is the first time the girls are playing in a tournament in this capacity. So it'll be a good experience for them. Um, the boys have done it maybe twice before, but we've changed that, the team. So fairly new, but over the last year they've traveled extensively, so they have some good experience. The good thing is, is that the mace, all four or five of the teams are around the same, same skill level, so it comes down to who performs on the day. Officials from the world governing body, FINA, in town as well. And one of their goals is to expand the game by introducing beach water polo. Beach water polo is a smaller number of the players. The field is smaller, so it means this field is pretty big for the um, ordinary people. You have to have a you know highly trained, well trained to swim or run. Beach water polo is the field is much much smaller. Ball is smaller, goal is smaller than a, you know three three field player plus one goalkeeper instead of uh, six plus one. Right across the road at the Kendall Isaacs Gym, the Carifta Judo Championships also getting underway today. Two of the countries competing, Aruba and Curaçao. Carifta is a, is a very important first step for us in the Carib Caribbean region in order to, in, in order to, to further make, make development in the, in the sport of Judo. You still can get out from those who started those times. They are still doing Judo with a lot of pleasure. And we are getting judokas also to represent us at the Olympic Games. Also in town for Carifta Judo, former U.S. Olympian Rodney Ferguson, who is of Bahamian descent. Right now on the cadet level, on the 14, 15, 16-year-old level, the Bahamas is just as competitive as any other country in the world. And I look forward to them, for them making the next jump in the next four to six years at the 20, 21, 22-year-old age bracket. So they're, they're really growing, and I look forward to them I mean, making a huge impact in 2020 and 2024. New Providence Women's Basketball Association semifinals continuing last night. Julian Gibson has a recap. 
Benson after losing game one on Tuesday night, the career building cheaters came out to play in game two last night at the Donald Davis gym. First quarter was all cheaters, second quarter all cheaters, third and fourth quarter cheaters closing out the Cybot Queens in a blowout fashion final score 80 to 65. And the first two quarters we played intense and then the last quarter we also played intense but they tried to um, get us out of that game mentally but we came prepared physically and mentally so we came up with the win. It was a must-win game tonight. We had to do everything in our powers to win this game tonight. We had to come in the gym and show them that we could beat them convincingly, not just a five, six-point lead. We could beat them convincingly. It's going to happen game three. We will beat them. Why well, you sound so sure? I'm for sure because I got a lot of confidence in my team and my coach. So with the series deadlock at one game apiece, Cheetahs looking to win it all come Saturday night. Reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I am Julian Gibson. The minor league baseball season opening last night, and what a coming out party for Jazrado Chisholm. He went three for five with an RBI and two run score to help King County to a 13-3 win over Clinton. As for Lucius Fox, he got off to a slow start, going 0 for 4 with four strikeouts for Bowling Green. They lost to Fort Wayne 4-1. The National High School Soccer Championships will run May 20th through June 4th. Sac Senior Girls along with St. Andrews and St. John Senior Boys all looking to make some noise. We're going to have to work hard. Harder because, you know, it's two weeks for Easter and then National Championships is until starting in May. Um, some of them have exams, so they're going to have to be um, battling and trying to make some changes in scheduling. But I think with the team that I have here... Um, these girls are very talented, they're very work-oriented, so I will have no problem. Once they stay focused, we will become national champions again. We're looking forward to that, we're prepared, we've got a couple of young juniors who we're going to bring up with us who will add some, some quality and some speed for us. With the Easter break coming up, I think it, it gives us some time to work on a few of the things that we've done wrong for this second half, and we'll definitely be looking good. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned, check on weather still to come.